Good morning. Thank you for joining us for this Nova DS webinar. Digital signage is a great tool for any organization to deliver their message. Whether it be in a lobby reception area or the corridors of a business or school, capturing the attention of your audience highly depends on your content. Keeping your content fresh, however, can be quite a challenge for any institution. With the Nova DS, we provide you a solution to help keep your content fresh and up to date by utilizing dynamic content from the internet. Our Nova DS is not just your stale media player. We allow you to easily incorporate Twitter feeds, YouTube videos, web pages, weather, QR codes, IP video streaming, Google Calendar, and RSS feeds. We even have the ability to utilize online stores like Dropbox and Microsoft OneDrive. In this webinar, I'll illustrate the use of these features by making a few playlists for you from scratch, showing you how easy it is to create and leverage the power behind the Nova DS platform. Let's say I want to make a playlist that splits the display into four quadrants. In each quadrant, I want to have the following online media. We will call this Demo Playlist A. I'll navigate the creation of this playlist inside the Novo DS Studio software for you to follow along. Please keep in mind that our product specialists are online to answer any questions you may have throughout the presentation. Just type it into the questions area of the webinar window. Now, I'm going to transition into the Novo DS Studio software. The first thing we will do is select the quad region template and press create. Let's rename this playlist Online Demo A and click Save as we make changes. In our template window, we can select Region 1, and the Region 1 media window will open where we can specify the media type and location. In this example, my media is remote, so I'll click on the Remote Media tab. In the Properties window, we specify the file protocol. My remote media is Samba based and I will enter the file path here. If the media was from an FTP or Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive, the credentials will be entered in here as well. We also have settings to adjust the view type of your content and also the refresh period. Click save and this region is now set. Moving on to our next region, we will select web page as the media type. We have the option of choosing mobile or desktop version here and your preferred refresh period. Every 10 minutes, I want the DS to reload this web page and clear the cache when it does. Web page content can also be offline and locally stored for retrieval. In this case, my website is online, so all I need to do is enter in the website address. Click on Refresh to preview what will appear, and then save and on to the next region. In our next region, we will select YouTube as the media type. It could be a playlist or individual videos. Just copy and paste the URL into the user field and click on the plus icon to add. If you have multiple YouTube videos, you can adjust its play arrangement here. Click save and on to the next region. In our last region, let's select Twitter as our media type. Just enter in the user handle in the who to follow entry field. You could choose your refresh period, make adjustments to your text, color, background image, and crawl speed. You even have the ability to adjust the amount of items to show. Once you're done, let's hit save, and let's take a look at what this looks like when it's rendered on a Novo DS. Kimi Q6 is the latest HD LED pocket projector from the series of Vivitech projectors. 
It's small but so rich in features. Let's see why the Kimi. That brings us to the close of our first example. All right, for our second example, let's create a playlist that simulates your typical lobby science application. This playlist will have four regions, one for your IP streaming content, local weather, a QR code that links to our business website, and a local news RSS feed. Moving into the Novo DS Studio software, first step is to create a custom template using the template editor. This will allow me to drag and drop regions by hand a large window for my IP video, a weather region, a smaller one for my QR code area, and the bottom row for my live RSS feed. Then click on Create. I will rename this playlist Online Demo B. For my first region, I will select IP Streaming as my media type. We support both RTSP and UDP streaming formats. Just enter the IP stream URL and click Save. Region 2 will be Weather. You could choose to enter in your geographical coordinates or by region, where you can enter in your country, city, and state. You can adjust your unit of temperature and choose from some output format styles. You can also adjust the refresh period of the weather widget itself. Click Save and on to the next region. Our next region will be a QR code. Select the text window, and under visual effect, select QR code. Enter in your text here, and we'll automatically convert that into a QR code format by clicking Save. For our fourth region, let's select RSS as our media type. Just enter in the URL here, you can also make adjustments to your refresh period and how many items to show, even adjust the font size, crawl speed, and direction. Click Save, and let's take a look at what this playlist looks like rendered on a Novo DS. For our final example, I'm going to create a playlist that utilizes our Google Calendar feature, simulating an event signage display. From the Novo DS home screen, select a new playlist. Let's choose the three region preloaded template for this example. For your first region, let's select the calendar media type. From here, you can enter in your Google account name. You can select to show the event description and location by clicking on these two boxes. You can also select from our preloaded themes or choose to create your own. You even have the choice of making a custom one if you want to do custom headers and custom item colors. I'm going to choose our basic theme too. Once you are done, click OK and save. Let's preview how this calendar looks on the Novo DS. The first time your device loads the Google Calendar, you will need to enter the login information 
on the device itself. You will need a USB mouse and keyboard to enter in this information. After entering your credentials, the player will access the Google account and display the calendar. This is a split screen so you can see what the calendar looks like displayed on the Novo DS and on your PC. Now to recap, I hope that seeing the creation process has helped you understand the power behind the Novo DS solution. With the tools we provide, we make it simple to create your content and keep it fresh by enabling you to pull in various online resources to deliver your message and captivate your audience. For more online tutorial videos, please visit our Vivid Tech USA YouTube channel. And for more product information, please visit our vividtechusa.com website. We have software downloads and documents and more available online. This brings us to the close of the presentation. However, we will remain online to answer any questions that you may have.